Let's go with that gentleman with the stripy jumper there, please. This overhead mic coming to you. Hi there. Um, my name is Alex Zarifa. I'm from the Arthur Terry School. But actually, I don't want to talk about education. We already had a good, great conversation earlier. I also have had a heart, heart operation, quadruple heart bypass, at the age of you know, 32, 33. We're all going to need the NHS, every one of us. If you haven't already, you're going to need it. One of the best things your party did do when you were in government was invest seriously in the NHS. We should celebrate that. You saw the strength of feeling against Andrew Lanzi's bill when it first came in. This, uh, beyond the economy, which is the, obviously the most important thing, that's got to be your second best selling point. If we're going to be one nation, we all need to be able to access services to the NHS, and it needs to be the best they can possibly be. They saved my life, and it's exceptional. We should celebrate the NHS as best we can. What, what was your name, sorry? My name's Alex. 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 And is there anything particularly... I mean, what's your biggest anxiety about the NHS at the moment? Well, it's right? already mentioned, really. I was just yeah. reinforcing the point about this fragmentation, the slip-slide uh, process into making sure that not everyone has equity, not everyone's going to have equal access to services as a result of the proposed changes that have been sort of sneaking through, slowly dripping through. Okay. And we need to make sure that everyone has... You know, the NHS is, is the, really the heartbeat of, of the nation. Totally right, Alex. Look, I, I totally endorse what you, uh, what you say. And the NHS is an incredibly important institution. And, and look, the thing, this is a point, it is about learning from our time in government. I think we did great things for the NHS in government. I, I think this reorganisation that they are doing is terrible. I mean, it is turning the NHS upside down, as we heard, uh, as we heard earlier, and it is fragmenting and privatising it. I think all governments, this is something that Andy's talked about, all governments, I think, learn that, you know, you've got to be incredibly careful about reorganisation. You've got to take people with you. And that's why when Andy set out his vision for the future of health and social care together, it's saying this is the vision, but how quickly we get there and how we do it is something we've got to discuss with uh, staff in the NHS and we've got to take people uh, with us.